At our center, intravitreal injections are performed in the treatment room. The patient's particulars are first verified, and the eye to be injected is clearly marked. Next, the assisting nurse takes the patient's blood pressure. The assisting nurse will wear a surgical mask for the procedure. Sterile topical anesthetic is instilled. A surgical mask, sterile hand towels, and sterile gloves are laid out for the surgeon. The surgeon will also wear a surgical mask for the procedure. A thorough surgical hand wash is performed by the surgeon. Sterile hand towels are used to dry the hands before donning sterile gloves. The intravitreal injection set consists of gauze, a drape, cotton tip applicators, calipers, a 5 ml syringe, a 30 gauge needle, and a speculum. The intravitreal agent, in this case bevacizumab, is first prepared for use. A 30 gauge needle is attached to the syringe and the excess solution is expelled through the needle, leaving only the final injected volume in the syringe. 10% povidone iodine is diluted with normal saline to a 5% concentration. The patient's lids and face are cleaned with 10% povidone iodine. Following which, a sterile surgical drape is applied. A wire speculum is used to hold the patient's eye open during the procedure. The eye is irrigated with the diluted 5% povidone iodine solution. Calipers are used to mark the injection site. In phacic eyes, a 0.4 millimeters behind the limbus is chosen, while in pseudophacic or aphacic eyes, a 0.3.5 millimeters behind the limbus is chosen. The 30 gauge needle is introduced into the vitreous cavity through the conjunctiva and sclera, and the solution is then injected. A cotton tipped applicator is used to tamponade the injection site after the needle is withdrawn. The eye is once again irrigated with 5% povidone iodine and the drape is then removed.